All right, guys. So after many months of leaks and speculation and stuff, Ubisoft finally came out and confirmed the new Assassin's Creed game, which is Mirage. Now, this had been leaked for quite some time and everything was right. Assassin's Creed Mirage has been officially announced and, you know, they just basically said uh, a full reveal will be coming very soon. So they just went with the leaks. So you can see this article says for months now, rumors have been swirling around Ubisoft's Assassin's Creed franchise with reputable insiders indicating that a new game in the series is on the way. Earlier today, the new Assassin's Creed game leaked online, revealing its title to be Assassin's Creed Mirage, showing some images and confirming its pre-order bonuses. Instead of ignoring the leaks like most companies would, Ubisoft decided to get ahead of things and officially announce Assassin's Creed Mirage. So good old Ubisoft, you know, they, they didn't panic. They didn't stay quiet because of leaks. They just said, you know what? Screw it. Let's let's showcase it. Let's talk about it. And let's reveal that we will be giving a full presentation of it in the near future. So good on them. Now, I personally like Assassin's Creed. I know when I was playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla when it first came out, a lot of people were saying that they were just tired of the Ubisoft formula of open world games. To me, open world games are my favorite genre. There's just something about them, you know, exploring and just looking around, finding secrets and getting fast travel points and riding horses or, you know, just in general. And, and I had a lot of fun with Valhalla. In fact, I liked Every single thing that they've added on, all the expansion passes, the DLCs, I just had so much fun with the game as a whole, and I'm excited for Mirage. Now, they announced Assassin's Creed Mirage with a social media post that included key art for the game and confirmed that fans will get to see it on September 10th at 12 p.t., so 12 Pacific time, they will get to see it. So that's going to be at the next Ubisoft Forward event, which is coming up. It's going to be like, I guess, their huge Nintendo Direct style presentation where they reveal all their upcoming games and features and stuff like that. Which, on top of that, we got Mario and Rabbids coming out soon, the, the sequel to it. I'm pretty excited for that. So, yeah, I, we're going to see a trailer at least at this Ubisoft Forward event. And, you know, this looks pretty cool. It's going to be kind of like, I guess, in the Middle Eastern. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what time of time period it is, but it looks like it's a lot um, of a different type of vibe than what we've seen in the previous games, like Valhalla was Vikings, and then there was Odyssey and Origins and stuff. Now, there is a pre-order bonus. According to the leaked info, uh, you will have a bonus mission that only players can access if you pre-order the game. So if you pre-order the game to get this bonus mission, and it's called the 40 Thieves Quest. So this is like very Aladdin and stuff. It's a, like an Iraqi folktale, and uh, I'm pretty excited about that. So just taking a quick look at the, um, the tweet that they just sent out. You can see right here. It's the next Assassin's Creed game. We can't wait to tell you more on September 10th. So we're f nine days away from finding out more information about this game as well as other ones. This says it previously was leaked that Assassin's Creed Mirage would take place in Baghdad, Iraq, which is a cool location. It's, it's different. You know, usually it's something like Europe or, you know, they've had some like pretty exotic locations, but to have one in Baghdad, Iraq might be a little bit more different. It says, um, the protagonist is believed to be Basim, who previously appeared in Valhalla, though that is yet to be confirmed at this time of writing. So there might be, you know, connections. There's usually like a little bit of connections between all the Assassin's Creed game, but we'll see a character that appeared in Valhalla. It says the other leaked info about Mirage has been proven to be accurate, so there's little reason to doubt the report. So more than likely that will be... Confirm it says Assassin's Creed will hope Creed fans will hopefully get info or confirmation about Bassam's involvement in Assassin's Creed Mirage at Ubisoft. Forward a release date announcement would also be nice, but fans shouldn't hold their breath that they'll get to play the game this year. Ubisoft had previously indicated that a game plan planned for the 2022 holiday season has since been pushed back to 2023, and the same insiders that leaked the other info about the game have said the delayed project was indeed Assassin's Creed Mirage. So, yeah, this is basically saying that the delayed announcement, they were saying a game was delayed, is indeed Assassin's Creed Mirage. So I doubt we'll be able to play it. And plus, I've heard that they're going to be supporting Valhalla a little bit longer, right? I think that's the rumor. So 
maybe they're going to polish this one to be up, you know, put together pretty good or whatnot. I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to it, though. Again, I know that there's a lot of people in my chats that are just kind of like... They're just, they say they're tired of the Assassin's Creed formula, but I always live by the mantra of if it's not broken, don't fix it. And I personally am <laughs> ecstatic about a new game. I, I actually played a little bit of Origins and Odyssey because they're on Game Pass, and I like those. I like Valhalla a lot. Uh, but honestly, Valhalla was my first assassin's creed game to complete fully i played like one and two way back in the day like at a friend's house so i didn't really get to sit down and enjoy myself with them but valhalla was the one that i first personally owned and and bought and sat down and and checked out so i thought overall the story was great the environment was great the mechanics the combat the leveling up and and i fell in love with it and then i saw origins and odyssey on the game pass um content library and i've been sunk deep into those as well <laughs> and again i like the formula even though some people say it might be played out or tired out and that lots of these i guess like ubisoft has this rep for these big open world ubisoft type games across all their games whether it's assassin's creed or immortals phoenix rising or watchdogs or even uh you know what are the other ones like some of the Tom Clancy games like Ghost Recon Wildlands and stuff like that that they just have like a distinct Ubisoft feel and while that might remain you know might be true I don't think it's a bad thing I, I, I've never really played an Ubisoft game that I felt was kind of cheap like I loved Immortals Phoenix Rising and all the content that they did with that they had tons of great expansions characters voice acting weapons customization options and stuff for your character and i felt valhalla was the same thing in fact i felt valhalla and immortals phoenix rising <laughs> were almost the same exact game and and i could see where some people say that like oh it's just assassin's creed with cartoony graphics and, and i could see where people would would feel that way about it but i didn't feel like it was you know, a bad thing, to be honest, because I thought both of those games, stories alone, stood on their own merit, and they were a lot of fun to play. Uh, I feel Immortals Phoenix Rising is immensely underrated of a game, and, you know, I I've talked to a lot of people that never even played it, but then again, when that game came out, Valhalla came out, and Watch Dogs Legions came out, like, Ubisoft just knocked, like, <laughs> a whole bunch of open-world games together like that so maybe people were feeling open world fatigue i don't know but if you haven't played immortals phoenix rising or valhalla those are two of the best games in the last two years that i've played so that's why i'm looking forward to assassin's creed mirage big time so let me know what you guys think about this new assassin's creed coming up are you interested in it or are you just done with you know the open world assassin's creed stuff let me know down below thank you guys for watching subscribe if you haven't